So what are the five principles of ABM success? It's essentially a framework or these five steps that many companies follow and uh, many frameworks exist uh, these days. Serious Decisions has one. We've talked about this framework from Marketo many, many times. And uh, it's really important to, uh, to go through these five steps as you uh, roll out your ABM um, efforts. But I would put uh, a, a lot of emphasis on the first two steps which is identifying accounts and making sure that your data is clean. Because a lot of companies fail in this first step, so they don't allocate enough time in uh, really thinking through the strategy of how to identify accounts and how to get your data ABM ready. So now I want to switch over and actually use this framework and kind of double click on each step and show you what we did at Marketo last year and, how we, and the results that we accomplished. So our goal for SMB was to drive higher value, higher value deals. And so our strategy was to take the blueprint out of our account-based marketing book that we use for enterprise business, and we've done that for you know, many, many, many years, um, and apply that to SMB and use, uh, in particular, vertical messaging and, conta and content and uh, focus specifically on one set of the verticals, which is financial asset managers. And so we're going to be looking at the data and kind of results that we've achieved throughout 2016. So the first step is account selection process. And typically companies, when they think about account selection, right, they, they look at what accounts uh, could generate high yield, right, bring in the highest revenue. Is there a good product fit? Uh, competitors' customers typically represent good uh, target accounts or there may be some accounts that uh, carry uh, certain strategic importance. And typically when companies go through this, when they're trying to narrow down the list of target accounts, uh, they ask their salespeople, or they use the data-driven approach, or they do a combination of the two. And so we certainly did uh, all of that, right? So we started with asking our salespeople, and we ran a small pilot program, uh, we generated some early successes, but then we decided to really scale our efforts. And because we are a data-driven company, and because SMB is all about uh, high velocity and uh, uh, a lot of volume, data-driven approach really made a lot of sense for us. And so what we did is we partnered with uh, a company called LeadSpace, and together we developed an ideal customer profile and an account scoring model that enabled us to rank and prioritize accounts that existed in our CRM, as well as uh, procure lookalike accounts that fit our ideal customer profile criteria. And so this step actually is very labor intensive. So wherever you pick as a partner in this process, don't assume that uh, they're going to come back to you with a perfect model that you're going to apply in a week. It really takes a lot of time and effort and back and forth with your trusted partner to go through this process and iterate the model and uh, make sure that it's working all the time. And it's a self-learning model, right? Because your, the new inputs continuously flow into the model and it's getting adjusted over time. So we used inputs such as historical data and firmographic data and over 4,000 different signals that include social media activity, funding, technology, etc., to build this model. And so the end result was really uh, an account scoring um, uh, methodology, a model that enabled us to um, then prioritize accounts for sales. And if you look at this chart, so it's, it's showing ideal customer profile performance. And on the y-axis, you see the average sales price. And on the, on, on the x-axis, you see the account score. And what this chart tells you is that with the higher the account score is, the higher uh, average sales price you're going to get, and the higher the propensity to buy from these accounts. So again, and we were able to rank and prioritize all accounts in our CRM based on the account score, and then we assigned essentially grade letters to them. So the highest, the best accounts were really falling into A and B uh, categories. And so what we did then is we created account tiers, right? So if you look at this circle, right, the outer circle, represents ideal customer profile. So they are, these are high account score and high lifetime value um, prospective uh, customers. 
uh, that exist in our CRM and also lookalike accounts that we uh, procured from uh, with the help of our uh, vendor. The, uh, the middle circle represents target accounts. These are accounts that match our ideal customer profile in key verticals that we decided to go after. And then the inner circle essentially represents the best of the best, the cream of the crop, uh, best set of target accounts, which the, we then, or named accounts, which we then allocate to each of the sales people but within their existing territory.